Hey everyone, this is Dan Saavedra from MergerData.com. Today we're gonna to be going over how to import spreadsheets into Airtable. Everyone's been there before. You have an Excel sheet or someone on your team has an Excel sheet and you're looking to bring that into Airtable. This might not be a problem if you're starting from scratch and building your base from scratch, but what if you have an existing base and existing tables and you want to bring in that Excel data into Airtable? Some records will have to be updated and some records will have to be added. So how do you do that? Let's walk through this step by step and look at exactly how we'll do this in Airtable. So if you were to start from scratch and add a base from scratch, Airtable actually gives you a pretty good option for importing data that exists in something like Google Sheets, Excel, a CSV, or even your clipboard. But what if you have an existing base that you want to import data into? If we go back here to the home page, I have a simple project tracker set up, which is a standard template from Airtable. And so it already has some sample records and sample data added here. And what I did was I also added an additional notes column, which is a long text field. And we'll use this for testing so I can show you how this type of import works. Now, the first thing that you'll have to do is you're going to have to add an app. And so what we're going to search for is CSV here in the marketplace. And there's a CSV import app. So I'm going to add this to this base. And that's going to open a window with this CSV import app. And so what we can do is actually drag and drop CSVs into here and then map them to our table. And so the one caveat is it does have to be a CSV file. So if you have an Excel file, you're going to have to save each tab as its own individual CSV file to import. And so I'm going to open up Excel here to show you sample data that I pulled over. And so you can see here that this is an, uh, a one for one export from Airtable. This is the sample data that's already in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save as and I'm going to save this as a CSV. So I'm going to go to downloads here. I'm going to do sample import and I'm going to change the file format to CSV and click save. Now, when I go back to Airtable, I'm going to import this CSV file by dragging and dropping it over here. Now, there are no updates to any of the records in the table. And so I'm going to first make sure that I'm on the correct table, so I'm on projects here. I'm going to go to merge with existing records, and this is very important. So what this does is this makes sure, make sure that you're not duplicating records. This is going to merge your spreadsheet into the table with the existing data. And then I'm gonna choose a field, a primary field that identifies each record. For this sample base, the name will be good enough to use as the identifying field. And then if you scroll down here, you see a few more options. You have skip blank or invalid CSV values. You have first row of CSV file is headers. And then you have create missing select options. So depending on what your needs are, you might have to toggle some of those. Below that, we can see a field mappings section. Now here you can uncheck or check certain fields that you want to be updated from the import. Uh, this, ha this comes in handy for different reasons. Sometimes you're going to only want to update information in one column. Uh, maybe you have incomplete uh, information in another column um, from your spreadsheet and you don't want that to be imported. So what you can do is you can select a handful of columns and then you can actually map them to your CSV file columns, which is really useful because let's say you have a field in your CSV file that does not match what is in your table in Airtable. And I actually did this uh, so that you can see the difference. If I click on additional notes, you'll see that it doesn't have a CSV column selected. And so if I click that drop down, I'll choose different name column. And so this is a column that I want to map to additional notes, but it just has a different header. So what you can do is you can actually map those yourself, which makes it really, really convenient and useful. Moving on here though, you can see that 
there are no new or updated records found in the CSV that I'm trying to import, which is good because that's exactly what I expected. I have a, a spreadsheet with exactly the same data as Airtable. So nothing's gonna be updated in this situation. So you can see that this is a smart way to import CSVs because it's checking each column of data and making sure that it's only bringing in new or updated information. So since there are no new records um, and there are no updated fields, there's nothing here to import. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cancel out of this. I'm gonna go back to my CSV file. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this first record's priority to low in the different name column, which we're gonna map to additional notes. I'm going to change this to added an additional note. And then I'm gonna leave these other two records the same. And I'll also add in a new record. So this will be test name. We're gonna call the stage, which is a dropdown field in Airtable. Um, but we're gonna call the stage something different than what's available up there. So we're gonna do completed tasks. We're gonna just put in a task sample. We're going to skip the rest of the columns and I'm just gonna save this file. And so if I go back to Airtable here, and then I drag in this CSV, you'll see that the app actually saved the configuration from last time. So we have the merge with existing records already saved um, with the primary field mapped and selected already as name. So if I scroll down, and just to make sure, I'm going to map every single column in here. And then I'm going to also just double check and see that additional notes is mapped to the different name column. And you'll see in this window on the right that there's a, a preview. And we have one record that's going to be created and we have one record that's going to be updated, which is correct. If you remember, the first line item, we updated two columns in it. Two records did not change and then we had one record that we added at the end. And so that's exactly what this CSV import app is seeing. So I'm just gonna click on save records and it's just gonna update all of these fields. Now, sometimes if information can't be added to a column, let's say you have a column that is a number and you have text in that column, you'll get a warning that says certain cells couldn't be up updated and it'll provide you with a list of those values as to why it could not be updated. Um, and what it'll do is it'll still import the rest of the data. It'll just skip over those individual cells, but it is something to pay attention to. And so if I look here at the projects table and I X out of this app window, you can see that we have our test record here and I'll open up the record itself. And it actually updated all the fields that we had in the spreadsheet. So we have our task, which is a task sample. And it actually went and added that to the linked task table, which is a really nice feature. And then it added the drop down in the stage here. So we can see that there's a completed option now. Um, when you're importing, if you don't want that to happen, if you want it to skip over drop down options that are not in there, you can just uncheck that box on the import. So that's something important to note. And then if we go over to the first record, you can see that we changed this priority to low and we also added the additional notes. And so this is the quickest and easiest way to import data from Excel um, or Google Sheets. You just have to switch that file type to a CSV and map those data fields correctly to make sure everything is imported correctly. Hopefully this helped out and you'll be able to keep data up to date within your organization um, in an easier manner. One important thing to note is that when you're not using the CSV import app, and instead you're just using the built-in Airtable add or import functionality, um, you can only add new records with the built-in Airtable functionality. The CSV import app will actually allow you to update records. And so I don't think I was clear on that in my previous segment, so I'm gonna show you here exactly how that looks. If I click on add or import, and then I do CSV file, and then I drag in this CSV file that we used in the previous example. You'll see that there's actually a pretty similar interface. Um, for importing your file, you can choose projects or tasks uh, or create a new table. So I'm gonna click on projects and I'm gonna click on next. 
And it's similar in the sense that you can map your individual fields here for what data you're Im importing. But the main difference is that you're not going to be able to update existing records. So you'll still be able to create missing select options. You'll be able to exclude first row and import, but this is always gonna add or append new data to the end of your table. And so you won't be able to update records. You need to use the CSV import app for that. So I didn't cover that before, but I think that's a really important point uh, to cover. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for new videos we should make and topics we should cover, put them in the comments below.